guys, so today's video is going to be on how to take your care of... Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on how to take care of your dogs and be a nurse. I know that may sound silly to some of you, especially if you don't have dogs, but I get this question asked a lot. People ask me, you know, did you have your dogs during nursing school? Did you have your dogs when you started being a nurse? How do you take care of them? What do you do? And so I'm going to kind of address that here. First thing is I did not have my dogs during nursing school. I got them after I finished nursing school and started working as a nurse. So did not have them during nursing school, so I can't speak for that, but I guess it would be similar to working as a nurse. During my time in Washington when Jesse and I, my husband, were, you know, still together, not, <laughs> that sounds bad, he's deployed right now, so that's why we're not together, but when we were still, you know, living together and he wasn't deployed, um, we had opposite work schedules, so he usually typically worked 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and I started working at 3 and didn't get done until 11.30. So very, very rarely did our schedules overlap to where the dogs would have to be home for 8 or 10 hours at a time. So we were lucky in that aspect. If we did overlap schedules where, let's say, I had to go in at work at 11, he left for work at 10 and wasn't going to be home till 10, and the dogs were going to have to be home for you know, eight to 10 hours, really anything over eight hours. We had a wonderful neighbor who lived right, like literally the house across the street and I would text her or we would text um, the husband and say, hey, do you guys mind stopping over and letting the dogs out, you know, just to go pee and let them run around for a second. And so we were really fortunate to have them up in Washington. They saved us, you know, a lot of stress. They were very, you know, very, very, helpful and we were thankful for them and vice versa we did the same thing for them if they had to do a weekend trip or something you know we would watch their dog or we would go over and let their dog out so it worked all out our dogs are kennel trained and so when we are gone for an extended amount of time i would say i don't really leave them out if we're gone for if it's only like two hours i would leave them out of their kennels anything longer um, i just worry that they would get bored and chew on little things they're not really destroyful pups they're not aggressive they're not you know i don't know what you want to say but i could see them getting bored and being like oh i'm gonna chew on the corner of this pillow i'm gonna chew on the corner of this little baseboard um so i just don't want to risk risk it and plus they love their kennels it's a safe spot for them so I know there's mixed reviews on people who kennel their dogs but we don't want to kennel them you know at night for eight hours and then during the day for eight to ten hours that's just ridiculous amount of time and not fair to them so we are lucky in Washington where we didn't have to do that now that I'm in Arizona and Jesse is gone and deployed I'm the only one and I'm working three 12-hour shifts a week so I don't have the that luxury of having another person here to help me out. Our families both live about 10 to 15 minutes away, but they're not really like super dog people where the dogs could go over to their house all day or whatnot. So I was really, really lucky and I found this app. It was called Dog Vacay and I located on this app, there's someone who lives less than five minutes away from me and she actually watches the dogs for me. It's a dog sitting app basically for people who need dog sitters during the day or overnight or other things like that, dog walkers, you name it. So I found her and Jesse and I went and met her while he was home. We introduced our dog. She has a dog. She has, and she's married and has two kids. And it was like a match made in heaven. It just, it couldn't have worked out any better. So during the days that I work, I drop the dogs off at 6.30 in the morning and I pick them up at 8 o'clock or so whenever I, you know, finish my shift and get home, pick them up. And she watches them and it's $20 per day for whenever she watches them. And to me, that's personally worth it because I would feel so guilty if I knew the dogs were in their kennels all day, you know, for 13, 14 hours. I'd be worrying about if they had to pee. I'd be worrying if, you know, it just wouldn't be fair. And like that would take away from my ability to completely focus at work. So knowing that they're in the care of someone who's good with dogs, you know, there's kids, there's another dog for them to play with. three kind of 
one, we don't have a good spot to put it. Um, our back door takes up our whole, the whole wall that leads to outside, and so we don't have a good spot to put it. Two, we have cats, and I know there's doggy doors that you can put like um, a little chip on their collar and it activates only when that chip comes in contact near the door and so they can go out, but they're very, very expensive, like four or five hundred dollars. I also know there's doggy doors for the doors, but our door is just like a sliding door of like a normal sized door. It's not one of those long sliding doors, so that would take up like a third of the door if we did that. Um, those are also very expensive. And three, I didn't want to have to like drill something in the house to, you know, we did buy this house so we could put in a doggy door, but that is on, some people like that when you try to sell your house and some people don't. So that we just didn't want to have to do that. So this idea works out well for us. I feel very comfortable, you know, with, you know, having a dog sitter and yeah. So hopefully that kind of gives you guys some ideas. Um, that's just what we do. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. Everyone's dogs are different. Personally, I feel really guilty when I have to leave them home for long periods of time. So I don't like leaving them for more than a couple hours at home um, during the day. And when I work, that's just, you know, not feasible. They ha would have to be home all day. So dog sitter, good idea. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, 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 over here. Come on. Good boy. Come on, we gotta get a picture. We gotta get a picture. Smile. I gotta put you up a little bit. Hey, do you mind? Do you mind? It's not playtime. Ow. Don't scratch me. Don't scratch me. Okay, all done. Thank you.